A lot of you guys have been asking me for a tutorial about this. I made a YouTube Shorts earlier this month talking about how to make a coloring book with Midjourney that you can sell on Etsy. And the response was crazy. And I'm not just saying this, a bunch of you guys really made it clear that you wanted to see a video on how it's done. And by the way, the listing that I showed on the YouTube Shorts video was able to make $2 million doing this. A bunch of people have been literally printing money out of thin air with this and it's actually pretty simple to do. So it's obvious that you guys want to know how it's done. So here's a full video going over how to start an AI commerce business selling coloring books on Etsy. And we're going to go over everything from mid-journey prompting to selling the product on Etsy. So be sure to watch until the end and be sure to subscribe so you can be first to learn more AI commerce strategies like this one. Okay, let me show you how it's done. The first thing we need to do is think of a niche that we want the coloring book to have designs for. Best free tool to find good ideas is eRank. Find a niche that has good monthly search volume and that has competition that is not too harsh. For this video, I'm using cows. After searching the keyword cow on eRank, I see suggested keywords such as cow print. We will use this keyword cow print to get a better idea of what we want to rank for since we're selling coloring books. Here are some great keywords I found. Cow print, cow spots SVG, cow head SVG, cow hide SVG. SVG stands for scaled vector graphics. So now we have some low competition keywords with high volume searches and that validates the niche. Remember, it's important to validate the niche to confirm that this is something that people actually want. Now it's time to make our mid-journey prompts. And to make them effectively, we'll be using ChatGPT. So here, we want to tell ChatGPT to give us 50 cow breeds since our niche will be cows. But obviously, you can do any animal. Now that we have 50 breeds, we can now start generating images with mid-journey. Here is the mid-journey prompt template you will need. Coloring pages for adults, mandala, insert animal type, white background, clean line art, fine line art, HDAR23. So the prompt mentions that we want a coloring book for adults in a mandala design. We want to insert the animal design. The background of the book is white, a clean line art style, and AR stands for aspect ratio. So two to three, which stands for two by three. By the way, I left a copy of this prompt in the description. Just copy paste it into Midjourney and plug in your animal type. So you just need to enter the niche you chose in the prompt. It should look like this. Coloring pages for adults, mandala cow image, white background, clean line art. HDAR23. Now we can go enter this into Midjourney. And as you can see, it worked. Now we can start generating multiple cow breeds. So I used the same prompt template as usual, but I replaced the word cow image with the breed Aberdeen Angus cow image. It works fine, but we want to optimize everything. So we want to go on ChatGPT and make a better prompt. Write the following. Now write me a prompt for an image generator to make a coloring book out of these cow breeds. And as you guys can see, you can just copy paste this. And it will have given me an output of the following. So background, is white, subject, cow head, style, mandala, line art, clean and precise, details create, and as you guys can see, it goes from there. So now that we have a better prompt, we just need to replace the subject line with the cow breed generated from before. Here, you wanna make sure to have a specific prompt that is going to give you a uniform result in order to have all similar pages for the coloring book you're making. So if one design has a mandala circle around the cow, make sure to have that circular mandala design shown across the book. Okay, so now we're gonna repeat this process 20 to 50 times for all the different breeds you have for your book. And once that is done, you can piece your coloring book together on Canva. So now let's go on Canva. And on Canva, you need to resize the dimensions to make sure the dimensions are two by three, which is 720 by 1080 pixels to match our pictures from Midjourney. Now you can upload to Canva all your designs. You should now have a bunch of pages. Now what you want to do is download all the pages from Canva as a PDF and we're almost ready to sell. This is the fun part. A bunch of people say this is the hardest part, but it's actually the easiest and most fun part. We're going to make a top ranking listing that's going to convert really well on Etsy. First thing we need to do is make a thumbnail or you can call it a listing image. To make a good listing image, find similar listings on Etsy for coloring books. And for the best results, find the best seller badge on a listing. And take inspiration from that listing and make it your own on Canva using the designs you made. We're taking inspiration from a bestseller because we know that they have a good conversion rate and that they are seeing good results. Remember, first impressions are very important, so listing images are crucial to see good results. If people don't click on your listing, you won't have any sales no matter how good your designs are. Okay, now that the book and the listing images are completed, the next thing you want to do is sign up for an Etsy seller account and create a listing for your coloring book. I'm already signed up, so we can skip that step. To make new listings, click the add new listing button. Then where it says add a photo, you want to drag the listing images that you made in Canva to add them to your listing. And where it says primary image, that's the image that is going to be 
that all the buyers will see immediately when coming across your listing. There is also a preview of how the thumbnail will look and you can press adjust thumbnail button to crop to your liking. And now for the title, it's important we use good SEO keywords. And like we did with the listing images, we can also take good SEO keywords from competitor listings or even by using E-Rank again. Remember, it's important to use keywords that have low competition and high search volume. Now Etsy is going to ask you a couple of questions to know exactly what you're selling. First thing is who made the product. Select I did because we made this. Next, select finished product because this is a finished product. Then it's asking us when was this made and here I'm going to select made between 2020 to 2023. After that, it's asking us for categories. Here, just give a two to three word description and it will find the category for you. For example, you can type in coloring book and then you will see the drop down knowing if it's in the digital categories and then you can choose the correct category. And by the way, do not choose a physical book category. A lot of people get in trouble with Etsy because of that. If Etsy thinks you're selling a physical book but you're not giving a physical book to your customers, it's going to be a mess. Next, for the attributes section, there's this section here about the primary and secondary colors. That's completely optional. If you wanna do it, it's just a plus. It's a feature on Etsy for people that are shopping by colors. Now for the subject, in this example, I'm going to select animal, animal and cartoon and abstract. You wanna choose three subjects that best describe your coloring book. Now we're almost done. For the rooms section, just pick kids and nursery and this will basically act as a additional tag. You can skip all the other boxes. Now, once you get to the renewal options here, you wanna make sure to keep the listings on automatic renewal. So sales are automated without issue and that your listing is automatically renewed when it sells out. The important part here is this, where it asks if this is a digital or physical product. And obviously we wanna select digital. Now for description, you can use ChatGPT to write a good listing description. You can tell ChatGPT about your coloring book being an Etsy listing and make sure to mention on the section what is included in the purchase of your coloring book, such as instructions. You can skip all the other options except section and tags. For section, you want to select the most accurate theme of your listing. And for tags, you want to take the most commonly used tags from other listings. You can grab those using Everbee or you can go and find a listing and scroll to the bottom of it and under where it says explore related searches you can see tag names under each circle. Just copy those and paste them into the tag box of your listing. For price, you want to always price it slightly lower than your competition. So if everyone is selling it for $4, you can price your listing at $3.80. For quantity, put it at two in stock as that will create scarcity and tell buyers if it's about to sell out. This will help making the first sale fast. At the bottom of the edit listing page, you will see the digital file section. This is where you'll upload your products. But listen closely because this part is very important. You need to upload the PDF book file into a Google Drive, which will then be shared on a Google Doc that customers will receive after purchasing as the instructions file. From there, they can access the Google Drive with the coloring book inside. Upload to the Google Doc as a PDF. Now to get attention to your new coloring book listing, I recommend starting Etsy ads at $5 a day. And the goal is to have ads off after a week of running ads, because if you did everything correctly, which is using low competition keywords, you should then be organically ranked to continue making sales at 100% profit. So that's how you can start selling digital coloring books on Etsy and make crazy high profit margins. If you wanna be like the top sellers I mentioned in the YouTube shorts that made $2 million just from a digital coloring book, I have a super in-depth training going over how to build a passive AI commerce business that makes three to 5K a month. And if you wanna check that out, I left a link at the top of the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you watch till the end, be sure to subscribe because I drop a video like this every week.